Whew. It's getting pretty hot out here uh, after a hot tea, basically. <laughs> I'm sweating right now. Damn, with what I would like to begin today. New idea, quote of the day. Be with someone who makes you your happiness. Yeah, <laughs> be with someone who makes you your happiness and your orgasms their first priority. Hell yes, <laughs> that's uh, family friendly content I love. That's what I'm talking about when it comes to family friendly music with Bob channel. <laughs> but it's, in all honesty, though, like uh, in all seriousness, uh, quote of the day, uh, new addition to the music with Bob channel. Uh, wanna just give some insights or like uh, start with a good quote to keep us going you know like we all uh, come from different places and uh, maybe there are like moments when you don't feel uh, happy or you like you are ready to give up you know or st stuff like that um, we are strong enough to keep going you know and uh, cause of the day um, will be helpful hopefully you know like motivational quotes will be there romance quotes will be there like this one uh, you know yeah be with someone who makes you your happiness and your orgasms their first priority because you don't want to settle for less kids out there you don't want to settle for less i'm telling you as a knowledgeable um guru <laughs> sex machine yeah <laughs> all right let's begin with the news basically news number one Tinashe dropped a new single, no drama, and uh, featuring Offset, by the way, <laughs> Offset from Migos, um, dope track. I honestly didn't expect that Tinashe's track would be so dope, so fiery, um, you know, that good energy and the uh, great visuals over here. Um, this video over here, I really recommend you to watch. Um, so, you know, people like, uh, they comment sometimes in my videos that hey like great dancing I, uh, and like I, I come here for your dances uh, I come here to learn your dances even like there was a comment like that I was like what really like uh, I, don't, I don't think that <laughs> I dance that good I honestly like just uh, dance for like to what I feel like uh, when I'm hyped, just like what comes to my mind, just like uh, give it out, you know, like I, I just dance to it. Uh, so if you want to come for dance videos, like just go to Tinashe's music videos. Uh, I have not been that invested in Tinashe's music uh, before, uh, but this is not my first video uh, when I seen Tinashe dancing really well. Uh, she is a dope ass dancer really like she is amazing in dancing uh, and and in uh, singing as well this song again as I said is good uh, really like her visuals over here I mean uh, her looks was dope too like, like yeah it's pretty Hey, look, look, how, look how smooth it was, that, that, that <laughs> I don't know, hips shaking, I already forgot what she did, but then she circled around, uh, you know, like, it, it's just like, it works, uh, and uh, again, this part is actually one of the sort of uh, quietest in terms of dancing, like, she, she didn't do much over here, but there are moments when she really goes in, and like, Tinashe is dope. Um, over here and the song is pretty good too it's pretty catchy uh, and the lyrics were nice uh, it's nothing too like conscious or whatever like uh, it's just uh, basically we are here to show some swag and like uh, it's cool if you it's cool like when you if you bump this song with your friends when you're driving like when you're hanging out just like hey like we are out here you know we're getting good vibes we want to dance or like uh, we are feeling ourselves in a great way so you know like hey chica you <laughs> know like we are in our gucci's and whatever like you wear uh, she wears gabbana uh, dolce and gabbana and like she i think she brags over there a little bit that she wears gabbana uh, and then like um, this song is just like 
Tinashe is representing that hey we our life is dope um, let's just get happy vibes from it uh, positive let's keep it positive let's not have a drama over there like no drama um, so yeah I like the song and Offset um, didn't do really much to the track but it's just that feature his name on this track of course gave it more attention than uh, it would have been uh, without Offset um, I personally, when I saw Offset on the track, I I checked it out because of Offset first, not because of Tinashe. Uh, and in the comments, if you see, like there's like, I think, oh, twin times every day, <laughs> banger. Um, people came for Offset. Well, at least that's what I saw over here. Um, two days ago or whatever. Oh yeah. I don't see it here now, but people were commenting offset, offset, and I came for yeah, offset, go hard on this. Um, yeah, but like anyway, anyway, so good track. I give it a seven out of ten, by the way. Seven solid seven out of ten. Um, now second news is oh my god, this article, like this ad doesn't go away, but we're talking about. Uh, Rihanna performing on Grammys 2018. That's the news uh, right here. Hopefully this reloads. Yeah, here we go. Look at that beauty. Um, Rihanna will be performing Wild Thoughts in Grammys. Grammys, by the way, this Sunday already. Like, can you imagine? Uh, I'm I'm pretty hyped about this, this thing. Um, hopefully we'll be able to watch full show, uh, but if not, I'm uh, just gonna watch the performances and who won uh, on the internet later, but i um, really excited to see all these performances as well, like uh, last year was dope, last year was really incredible, uh, there were a lot of great performances I remember, and it was dope, like every top A artists were uh, performing Bruno Mars performing uh, performed as Prince last year as well like Adele uh, made a cover of uh, George Martin's song when he passed away unfortunately and uh, yeah like uh, the performances were fire Katy Perry was there Lady Gaga performed uh, a rock song um, incredible uh, I loved it the weekend even <laughs> was there with that fun so this year um, Rihanna uh, Bruno Mars again performing. Damn, this man doesn't rest, huh? Cardi B, uh, Cardi. I'm really excited for Cardi. Oh man, this year, I mean last year, 2017 was Cardi B's year, and I think it's gonna continue this one too. <laughs> 2018 will be hers too, hopefully. Um, yeah, she's dope. She's something else. Kesha. I'm excited about Kesha, SZA, oh my god, <laughs> like definitely like, well Louis Fountain did Yankee, yeah, Despacito, I mean, uh, why not, why not listen to Despacito a little bit over there in Grammy, uh, in Grammys and the most awards will go to Jay-Z and Kendrick, that's awesome, amazing, I'm really um, glad that these two are getting such a recognition, um, I mean not recognition but like got so many awards. So uh, yeah, I will be uh, making a video probably on the Grammys, what happened, you know, the performances, just give my thoughts on Grammys um, after Sunday. News number three, uh, Fallout Boy with Mania. Uh, Mania dropped this weekend, uh, well actually on, on Friday, uh, it dropped and this is an alternative record, the r only reason I am actually... Um, presenting you this guys is because I wanted some diversity uh, variety in this channel music with Bob channel because I mostly uh, unfortunately uh, at least these days I'm listening to pop and hip-hop that's that's pretty much it um, well R&B but, but yeah I include R&B into pop for some reason usually uh, but yeah alternative I only like gave it one listen to this record. I didn't even finish it as you see yet. Uh, literally just was listening before recording this video. But uh, I just wanted to know like 
what are your thoughts on this album? I'm sure there are people who are interested in uh, Fall Out Boy, uh, who are excited to listen to this record. Uh, and I just want to know my audience as well. <laughs> like, what are you listening, guys? So please comment below uh, uh, your taste and what are you listening these days? What kind of tracks? Just give me something. Give me something, you know, like to uh, just read and um, enjoy what you're listening. Uh, really excited to check out uh, what you guys listen and um, give your thoughts on Mania. How is it? For me, uh, I mean, I never was excited for Fallout, for Fallout Boy to be honest and uh, only two tracks I, I knew before coming into this album was Irresistible and um, what was the name? Centuries? The Centuries I hate, <laughs> not gonna lie, but Irresistible was pretty good. Um, the favorite track for me, like so far I've listened to uh, Young and Menace, Menace, Menasi. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, Menace, um, and uh, yeah, that's that was a pretty good track. But uh, I'm I'm okay. Like not that bad, but it's just I guess it's not my cup of tea. Uh, but I usually, I mean, I did listen to a lot of alternative records before. It's just I don't know that time kind of sort of passed for me. Hopefully, we'll come back to it though at one point in my life. Um, and this Music with Bob channel, of course, is for exploring this kind of different genres of music, like for myself. And uh, that's how I, I got into Brazilian music, that's how I got into K-pop for a little bit. Um, so like, just happy to explore new sounds, um, because it is helpful to develop your ears on music. Um, yeah, but it's just like, for now, I'm not really enjoying certain alternative records. I do enjoy some of others, but not particularly that one. But let me know again in the comments below. Uh, no, news number four, I believe. Um, we have the Chainsmokers Sick Boy. And I already did a reaction to this track, but the reason I'm actually um, again like talking about this is because I didn't do much analysis of the track, first of all, and second of all, I just wanted to say that my f initial reaction is uh, different uh, from now on, like my thoughts on initial reaction is different now. Uh, after I listened to this track more times, I actually realized that this is a pretty dope track. <laughs> Honestly, this is pretty good. Um, and Chainsmokers did a good job and like, uh, musically uh, was performed well um, and uh, the lyrics with what is mostly um, exciting for me because like first I didn't understand like why the, um, the lead singer I, I forgot his name it starts with D but I forgot his name um, why he's talking about East side of America why he's talking about West side of America but then I realized he's he's talking about the division in our country, in the United States, because, um, like, and again, he says here, I think, uh, yeah, when everyone projects and expects you to listen to them, to them, uh, I think, like, um, they sort of, for example, East America, they believe in something, and they believe this is the most right thing, uh, and they wanted to kind of presented to west side or uh, not even like that globally let's say it's just like to someone his opinion and but he's not even wanna be willing to listen to other others opinion right he just wants to listen to his opinion or her opinion um, and that's what I liked like the division to an America uh, like he's presenting over here. Uh, gosh, I forgot his name. Lead singer, the the Devin maybe. <laughs> well, anyway, um, and then, um, th which is true, you know, like the last election, presidential election, showed us that we are really divided. <laughs> we are not United States of America. <laughs> Honestly, it's pretty ironic. Um, but yeah, and uh, the. Th this one as well feed yourself with my life's work how many likes 
is my life worth? Like that was fucking dope on the line. Honestly, really love this one. How many likes is my life worth? Like how many, like how much I should work to keep seeking approval of the public, you know? And uh, it's really scary for any artist out there. It's not easy, like it's always, there's always pressure on you. Like what's your next move? you did something wrong or like there is always criticism that criticism and it's like it's not easy to uh be under cameras and how the weekend was saying in one of his tracks from uh trilogy um which makes it uh exactly but uh he said uh happiness exists when you don't know fame and uh, this is like again connect connecting the dots you know between this um lines so yeah i i enjoyed this uh, track honestly didn't thought didn't think that i will <laughs> like this track but uh, i'm kind of regretting that i gave this four out of ten well as you can see i'm i'm already on migos culture 2 um and this is dope news like this is pretty dope kanye west confirmed as a producer on migos culture 2 uh kanye west uh, one of my ra uh, one of my favorite uh, artists. Uh, like there are sometimes questions like, what kind of music would you listen? Uh, what artists would you only be listening if um, if you if someone would remove every other artist in your library in your music library and you are left with only one? for the rest of your life what artist it would have been and uh, I can say that <laughs> my option my choice probably would be Kanye West his music is like is fire is is um, out of this world um, I love every album that Kanye dropped so dope and even though I claimed that and I still like still Eminem is my favorite artist but I'm not sure that <laughs> Um, I could live only with Eminem tracks for the rest of my life, you know? But with Kanye, because he's so versatile and, and there is so much variety in his music uh, with aggressive Yeezus or um, Heartbroken uh, 808 and Heartbreak album, Graduation, Beautiful Dark Fantasy, so many diversity. And yeah, Kanye West, one of my favorite artists, as you can tell. And this is dope. This is great news for me. Uh, Migos, this is probably an album cover for Culture 2. I enjoyed Culture 1 a lot last year uh, and it landed on one of my favorite uh, uh, albums of the year, uh, if you remember, uh, Migos Culture 1. And I'm hyped for Culture 2 as well. It's just a fun album, you know, like it's, it's gonna be a fu fun album. Uh, Migos, uh, lyrically, like, just don't take it seriously, you know, like there's nothing much to um, seek in terms of lyrics, but like for just like having, you know, sort of party wipe or like uh, fun wipe, just listening to Migos, like it's really entertaining. It's I like it, I like it a lot. And they dropped a new track, last single before Culture 2, uh, this last weekend, Superstars. Uh, I also give it 7 out of 10, honestly, this was such a fun track, got me really excited for Culture 2, uh, particularly this track, because before that, Stir Fry was dope too, but it was less dope <laughs> for me, uh, Stir Fry I'll probably give it a 6 out of 10, um, and Modern Sport, I still like, even though it's a global hit right now, uh, featuring Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, um, top A, top female artists right now uh, and for sure top female rappers um, that track wasn't um, really appealing to me uh, I, I like it now but I still like didn't catch myself just to go back and listen to it a lot you know I did I even did a reaction video on it I filmed it but I didn't publish it because I felt like my initial reaction wasn't good and like I wasn't enjoying it in the first listen. I was just sitting there, okay, 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 and then like 
I criticized it a bit, and then after some lessons, uh, listen, lessons, <laughs> listens, um, it grew on me, but it's still like not that dope, you know. Uh, but again, every track, Superstars, Steel Fry, Motorsport, they are pretty different from each other. I like how different this is. Uh, it's just like it's different from Culture One as well. Like the sound is different. Uh, like it's still trap rap, but this is like going to, in another route. Like more fun, more uh, just entertaining. Like you know, uh, track rather than Culture One. I feel like it was just more serious, you know, like more cold-hearted. But here, yeah, it's more uplifting sort of vibe going on over here. I, I like this. I like this track. Um, definitely dope track. And um, let me know if <laughs> someone from my audience actually knows who are Migos. Uh, I hope that there is a poll right now. Um, you can answer the question. <laughs> I'm hoping that there is like the polls are working, which I already set it up for you. Um, but yeah, if it's not, uh, shame on me. <laughs> but we're gonna move on. So, Flat Boy, yes. Uh, another news. Oh, a couple left. A couple of new stuff. Uh, Justin Timberlake. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> this man needs to chill. Yeah, I'm serious about that because this man dropped supplies, okay? Supplies is freaking amazing oh my god this song is fire like literally uh, dropped a tear on my eye like literally that switch up though like especially like the, the, that beat is nasty that beat is like so cool so incredible it's just like got my head banging every time uh my first listen wasn't that like I, I didn't react by the way because of the copyright strikes like I'm just afraid to get another copyright strike from Justin Timberlake and again as I told you if I will get three my channel will be deleted I already got one uh, from filthy that's why I, I'm claiming like this man needs to chill a little bit you know <laughs> I'm I have nothing bad against you my man <laughs> and I'm, I know that it's not his fault honestly um, it's uh, labels work uh, it's their business, not Justin's at all, uh, but like uh, I just don't want to risk it like I'm not gonna be reacting to Justin Timberlake's singles I will react to only his album though because if I will even if I will get a strike on that video I will get two out of three <laughs> strikes so um, my channel will not be terminated at that point so I'll be reacting to Men of the Woods when fully drops uh, but supplies I will you, you will be shocked but I will give it a 9 out of 10 because and I and I gave filthy 8 right so like you see the pattern already like 8 9 like strong singles for me uh, and I know there's a lot of criticism out there for Justin Timberlake but Justin Timberlake has always been my one of my favorite artists and like I remember since childhood I was just listening to his tracks I was singing his tracks um, for 2006 for New Year Eve um, of 2006 when from 2005 to 2006 you know like when the switch up was happening oh no from 2006 to 2007 my bad so I um, when I was re young uh, how much how old I was um, I think I was nine years old at the time and you know like there's a tradition uh, at least in Russia where um, countries near Russia uh, in my case Uzbekistan I was born in Uzbekistan and um, there's a tradition basically <laughs> uh, Santa Claus he asks for for you like to to basically deliver a poem or you know something like that uh, something you learned and you know by heart you know uh, some some poetry, some some beautiful uh, stuff, and uh, all kids knew. <laughs> like w there was a lineup basically horizontally. Uh, eight people was were there, uh, like a celebration, uh, celebratory uh, atmosphere, um, and like people are watching. Okay, uh, relatives, family, 
friends everybody watching and uh, we gathered all in the restaurant like uh, along with other like people we don't know but anyway and so a lot of kids just standing on the line and I'm standing there as well I didn't know shit <laughs> to tell but when the Santa Claus came to me uh, guess what I uh, sang for him a song Justin Timberlake's song uh, what goes around comes around <laughs> yeah bitch I did that <laughs> and I got my present you know <laughs> that's right like you're not gonna do a shit for free <laughs> like the, all these kids were um, telling the truth they they're, they were spitting their hearts off <laughs> with that poetry because they wanted some chocolate from Santa Claus or a toy uh, whatever the fuck he gave at that time <laughs> but uh, yeah I got my present and I was happy but anyway uh, back to the story of Man of the Woods Man of the Woods um, Justin Timberlake is hopping on new beats new sort of production it's different it's futuristic um, uh, in case of filthy, in case of supplies, it's more like he goes. In, he's going to like a country route, you know. Uh, he's going to his roots, and um, I I love it. I love it. You know, Justin is. I'm biased. That's why the ratings are so high. But ratings are so high because I actually feel that way. I'm really feeling these tracks. I'm really enjoying these tracks that much. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if you don't like the song, that's fine. That's your opinion. But I'm just saying, like, uh, if I, like, I don't give a fuck, I will still give give them eight or nine. If you are not feeling this track, you know, uh, that's how I feel. And I'm gonna give, um, you know, all the blessing um, he needs right now because there is a lot of criticism I've heard towards this album. And uh, you know, I'm just happy that my man Justin Timberlake like, dropping new album soon and new tracks. This is dope. I love it. And uh, we're gonna finish with uh, Troy Sivan. Uh, honestly, the first track I've heard, like the last tra last single he dropped, oh, my my my. Um, you know, a lot of people liked it. I didn't. Uh, I gave it three out of ten. But this one, I, I'm feeling it much more, the good side, and um, the the lyrics and the the performance was beautiful. The performance is like a singer songwriter approach, you know, like it's the performance is just like an acoustic guitar, and his vo vocals are different this time. Like his delivery was different. Like remind me of uh, something Harry, Harry Styles would do, like with the Sign of the Times or this, this his other tracks on Harry Styles album like remind me of that vibe and that's why I probably like this song because I really enjoyed Harry Styles album and um, yeah honestly not gonna go that deep into this lyrics but I I'll just like tell you <laughs> what it, what the song is about uh, through, through this excerpt because I feel like it was um, explained really well so the good side ex explores what ensued ensued from the downfall of Troy's relationship that took place whilst recording his debut album Blue Neighborhood as the song title suggests uh, good side it reflects on how Troy had the good side of the separation and how he was able to turn his work in the music industry into a catharsis a thera therapeutic <laughs> therapeutic outlet basically Troy's breakup experience was not one of one that harbored hate or anger, but instead a deep uh, grati gratitude, understanding of what he developed from the relationship. I honestly didn't think that it would be that hard for me to read this um, um, words because uh, in my head it was pretty quick. <laughs> but anyway, uh, having been taught the ropes and how to love, this song is an empathic acknowledgement of not only the fortunate position Troy was in to handle the breakup but a recognition of all the good that came from their experience together so uh, I can also relate to, into this um, you know I when I had a breakup uh, hate or anger you know like I 
honestly like the breakup was pretty bad but um i couldn't hate or anger uh, be angry at that person because you know i just love her that much that you can even like hate that person it's it's crazy like how how the feelings works but even though it's it was like you know pretty bad breakup but um instead you know the understanding what he developed from the relationship you know like i learned a lot and this experience as well helped me a lot to become become this person who i am damn the last five minutes of the clip was deleted like the camera didn't record uh i was building this video <laughs> to this specific moment because i have news to tell you um really personal news um and man okay um i'm just gonna say it again uh oh man i'm just sad that like it's not gonna be delivered that way i was de I'll deliver it the first time but basically my ex uh she contacted me um and that was amazing that was fantastic i if you remember i always well there were videos sometimes where i was mentioning her and i was telling i wonder if like she's out there like if she ever thinks about me because she vanished from my life completely it was a quick deal like we broke up and uh i was trying to get her back but like she was sort of she blocked me everywhere and it's kind of all sort of was done um and she vanished from my life and i couldn't like she became a ghost because i didn't know even like how to get her uh how to like what's going on with her uh and stuff like that so uh, i was al always jealous like troy Sivan, for example uh here talks about how uh, he was able to like sort of come back uh and just look back uh with his ex at the past and evaluate what happened like stuff like that and uh people who, like usually like they tell that oh i talked i was talking to my ex recently or uh i um i'm still friends with uh, my ex like stuff like that when they when people w were telling me before um these things i always were jail i always was jealous because at my situations i couldn't do this right so like i was always i was missing her and stuff like that so and i wanted to know what's happening and finally like uh when i was al already like w agreed sort of i just had to agree that i'm never gonna be able to talk with her like she popped up and um uh it was great like she explained everything what happened just uh so she um yeah we, we talked like for a lot of hours uh, uh recently like right after this song came out and like it's like the next day basically like she called me and uh it was crazy like i i'm really glad that uh it happened and also um she like she told me what, what was going on with her mind and stuff like that. Like, I'm not going to go much detail. It's our personal stuff. But uh, I'm not mad at her. I'm not angry at her. I'm, I wasn't never angry at her because I just loved her very much, even though the breakup was bad, right? Um, I just learned all the lessons how Troy Sivan is saying. Like, he just turned into... Um, he turned that anger or hate um, into his himself and um, he's the like he put that he put instead good energy and like he was performing like in, and he was giving out new songs and he was in the workflow I was the same like I just w was working on my stuff I was de self-developing a lot and became who I am today um, what's funny to me and like what's actually actually really pleasing my my soul <laughs> is that uh, she told me that she watched uh, this channel she have she watched all of my videos 
um, and she proved me like about that fact with the, uh, referencing one of my videos uh, when I was telling her how like the stuff I mentioned uh, right now um, man I forgot <laughs> Oh, the fact that if she like ever, ever uh, thinks about me, like I, w I wonder, like those stuff I said uh, in the video, like she she quoted me and like and she's like yes I always do and uh, she start mentioning the memories we had and stuff like that you know like it was just <sighs> it was just great and I'm glad that it happened and um, she had to disappear again from my life um, and um, you know I'm talking about this actually because um, like if she's watching just wanna say thank you for that talk and um, thank you like you know that sadness with me like now it's all gone like I understood everything um, and um, hopefully it was just wasn't the last time we ever talked uh, hopefully you know we will still talk um, someday um, and you will pop up again <laughs> basically and I know for the like I know why she had to disappear like I know all these reasons but um, yeah just gonna wait when it's gonna happen again um, but yeah that's all for today uh, news with Bob how did you like quote of the day? How did you like uh, new things were happening in this video? Uh, comment below, by the way, um, like your thoughts. Uh, oh man, I forgot everything. <laughs> comment below, basically about Fallout Boy, Migos, uh, new songs you like. You're listening right now. Um, like, what are you into? Just let me know about everything I mentioned. Please comment below. Uh, I would love to read uh, your comments and I'm happy that I'm at this position that I'm just able to uh, share my thoughts with you guys and I always want to be honest with you guys and uh, I opened up uh, about really personal stuff because uh, it's it was related to the song by the way 6 out of 10 for the Trace Man song um, good song uh, but yeah I just I just want to be honest with you guys and really keep you close with me because I really appreciate um, that you are here with me um, and we'll have more great times coming so stay tuned hit the like button if you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next ones пока hi auf wiedersehen arrivederci adios ciao ciao au revoir goodbye